Hey, Big Jack. What do you think we should do today? What do you think we should do today? How about we make some chips with that new CNC machine? Yeah, let's do that. Hey, y'all, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be checking out this uh, Z-Height probe here. I haven't even undone it and plugged it in, so I'm going to set it, uh, plug it in back there, and then put a V-Bet in the, the uh, collet here, and then I'm going to check and make sure that the height's right. I've already measured this, and I have changed the parameter using the uh, offline controller here. It came with uh, dimensions as probe tool height. It came by default uh, 12 millimeters. And I checked it with my calipers and I got 12.1412. So I've entered that and it's rounded it up to 12.141. And before I go to run a, a B-card program, I want to check and make sure that that's, that's correct. Also in this video, I'm going to be checking out the new uh, handheld bandit controller that I got the other day. Uh, this was also provided by Nemo Lab. So this thing is really, this cord is really heavy. It's a heavy duty, uh, heavy duty cord. Comes with a nice uh, mounting bracket that uh, you could mount somewhere. And it also has a magnet on the back of here. So once you, once you put it on that bracket, you're not going to bump it and knock it off. It's got that magnet really holds it all there. Right. So let me get the uh, bit put in and get the probe, Z probe plugged in the back there, and then we'll check that out and make sure uh, it's working properly before we load a program in. Okay, I've got a uh, 90 degree V bit. I had to get a uh, quarter inch collet that I already had uh, from another machine. And I put this uh, 90 degree V bit. I have plugged in the probe and it's lighting up. So let's give it a test here and see. It should go down and touch, then come back up and then come back and touch again, then go back up to. 15 millimeters so just to be sure it's doing that correct let me take this handheld controller here and I've got it on the z-axis and I'm going to slowly lower this down until it's showing zero on the display over here Now let me change the thing. There's every ten thousandths. Or I should say a uh, tenth of a millimeter. Now I'll switch it to one to get it real precise. Now I guess I could have left it there a little bit. Now let me switch it back to one. Okay, now the Z on the display here is set all on zeros. So I will just take a piece of paper and make sure. And I don't know, if, I know y'all can't feel that, but it is just dragging on that piece of paper. So it is right at the top of the surface. So I would say we've got the uh, Z axis height probe calibrated pretty good. 
So now let's uh, let's raise the Z back up. We'll home the machine and then move it over and put it on our start point. Zero it out and then load in a program. Okay, now that we've got our machine home, let's uh, hit the prepare. I'll try to hold this where you can see it. I don't know how well you'll be able to see it. But I'll hit prepare, and then I'm going to move the X over a little bit. Move the Y axis back a little bit. And then bring the Z down. Then I can go ahead and use the pendant to drive this thing right over the little mark that I have there. So let's get the X first. Be the Y. Now let's get the Z down a little bit. Okay, that looks pretty good. So that's going to be um, that's going to be where we want to zero the X and Y. So we'll hit zero x and y now i'm going to raise that z back up and we will use the, the little probe height gauge to uh to set the z once again and it's always a good idea to raise this up and touch that and make sure it is working before you uh try to bring it down because if you're not paying attention and you bring it down and for some reason it's not working, it's going to keep right on trying to go. Okay. Now let me get the... I've already on a desktop computer just out of shot here, I've Use my VCAR Pro to create just a little sample program, a little VCAR program. And I've already put that on the uh, SD card. Let's pop the SD card in here. There we go. Okay. Now we will go to this file. And we'll go to the SD storage, and I'm going to hit the one I just created called VCAR test. I'm going to highlight it, and I'm going to send it to the local storage, so it won't be running off the SD card. It's uh, copying the files. Only takes a few seconds, and then we'll be running it off of the main storage right here in the controller. Okay. So now we'll go to local storage. I like that same file, select this code, and now it is, there it is, it's ready to go. So we should be all set. We've got our Z set, we've got our X, Y uh, work coordinate set right here to this point, right in the center of this. Um, 
and I think we're ready to go. Okay, so let's fire this thing up and see what happens. Okay, I'd have to say that the Nemo Labs NBX5040 did an excellent job on that little V car test. That uh, I don't even know how old this 90 degree V bit is. It is <laughs> very old, and I couldn't. I have a new one somewhere, and I couldn't find it. So I thought, well, we'll see how this one works. But it actually, uh, I'm really impressed. Came out pretty pretty clean, considering that's a a really old bit but uh, real happy with how the the NEMA labs uh, CNC machine is working with the uh, VCAR uh, test the uh, z-axis probe worked well as well as the uh, hand painted it there uh, you saw I had not too bad of a mess the uh, the dust baffles did surprisingly well keeping it right here and not getting it uh, everywhere so pretty happy with that as well but I do have a uh, dust chute that I'll be installing on this that'll probably be in the next video as I'm right now in the house I've got my 3d printer running to make a little hose adapter for this hose right here so this this fit just a little bit loose in the uh, dust chute or looser than I like so I'm Got the 3D printer going right now as I'm recording this. So, anyway, I thought that uh, I thought that turned out really well. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider giving me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. At Dave Gatton, that's my YouTube channel. And also go subscribe to the Nema Labs YouTube channel as they're going to be adding a lot of new content over there on that channel as well. So. Until the next one, thank you very much for watching.